despite the opening accolades for Noah's character in the beginning, in the very first pasuk of Parshat Noah, of being a righteous person at Tzadik Tamim, Et Alokim Talech Noah, one of the greatest accolades that anyone received in the Torah, Noah turns out to be only mediocre. Chazal say that despite the fact that he did everything that Hashem asked him to do in building the Teva, in building the Ark, he failed to take a maximal re- approach and response to Hashem's instructions because he could have done more. He could have in- influenced and inspired his generation to follow God and to become saved from the, from the flood. This attitude of Chazal in our tradition is hinted to in the Torah itself because we find at the very end of the story, after Noah comes out of the ark, Hashem repeatedly instructs him and promises him that he should resettle the world, he should have more children, and this won't happen again. And Noah, we see, failed to do that and never had any more children. And the question is, why was it that Noah, despite being such a great person, failed to realize his potential and the hopes that we had for him? When we look at the very beginning of the Parsha, we see that his virtues are counted, but not to him. After the first three verses, God speaks to Noah for the first time. And I can't help but notice that Despite the fact that the Torah recounts all the praises for Noah, these were never told to him. And I can't help but wonder what would have happened if Hashem would have told Noah that he was an Ish Tzadik, a Tamim. What if Noah would have realized his greatness? Would he then have actualized his potential? And I think that this highlights the fact that often we don't always see our potential. We don't see our greatness. Perhaps Noah thought, he's saving me because he has to save someone, but I'm not really so great. And if only he would have realized his strengths and his capacity and his potential, would he have realized it and actualized it? And it's a lesson for us all to always highlight the virtues and strengths of people around us so that to help them realize their potential and help them find their own strengths so that they will take full advantage of them. Shabbat Shalom.